hello guys in this video we will see the solution for the aws rds connection issue that is when i try to connect to aws rds instance to get the error unable to connect to the server timeout expired endpoint copy see this is my aws rds engine is process equal so copy this one copy it go to pg admin r command prompt right click on servers then click on server then give name aws rds1 name can be anything here in connection we have to give host name or address paste it provide the password click on save see we got the unable to connect to the server connection timed out even if you try with psql psql hyphen h then paste the endpoint we can get the endpoint from here in connectivity and security okay this is the endpoint then hyphen u provide the username hyphen d provide the existing database and hit enter see psql is the client tool for the process see we got the same error could not connect to the server connection timed out and it is saying this is the ip of this rds instance so solution is here there might be two reasons one is you must have enable public accessible to s this is set up at the time of creating let me show you click on aws rds go to aws rds management console click on ab instances click on create database select any one of them mysql or anything the process is same set the version leave remaining all as it is when it comes to connection see here you have to select this public access to s if you select no you can access only from aws ec2 instances and other resources inside the vpc can only connect to the cluster okay so this is the option the second is we must have add the IP in inbound rules. So in databases, select the we are getting error for this RDS PG prod one. Okay, go to that, click on this instance, click on security, that then click on VPC security group, then click on security group ID, then click on see, then you have to be there in inbound rules, then click on edit inbound rules then add rule then select postgres equal then select my ip or you can give the custom then you can give the ip range okay even if you give zero zeros then also it will work first we will see with my ip then click on save rules we have saved the rules click on now go to pg admin click on save see we have successfully connected expand it see we have the databases right click on it query to see we are successfully connected even if you go to psql if you give the same now it will ask the password see so we are able to connect even if you give the password we will be able to connect also not only ip if you want to give the ip range click on edit inbound rules remove this one add rule click on first sql i custom ip then I am giving all, then click on save rules. Now disconnect it. Yes, now connect, provide the password. See, we have successfully connected. Okay, so this setting is not recommended because this inbound rule anyone can connect from any IP. Okay, so I am giving my IP can save rules. So in this video we have fixed the error that is connection unable to connect to the server timed out expired. Okay. For more process equal server or AWS videos please subscribe my channel. Thank you.